welcome to s h s one commerce class in our previous lesson we discussed two set problems this one we are going to continue with three set problems by the end of the lesson the student will be able to identify the regions in three set Venn diagram use the identify regions to solve a given problem if three intersection sets a b and c are the subset of the universal set u so you can see the a being one set b being another set and then c also being another set they all intersect at this point. If we number the various regions from I to V, I, 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 then let's start with the I. I is the middle one, where is the intersection of A, B, and C. Then I I is the intersection of A B intersection C complement. But if you add I to I I, this will give you A intersection B. If you add I to I I, this will give you A intersection B. Then we have I, 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 and this is A, this, uh, this is A complement intersection B, intersection C. And when you add I to I, 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 this will give you B intersection C. Then also when we move on with IV, this session, and this one will give you A intersection B complement intersection C. And when you add I to IV, then this will give you A intersection C. Then we move on with V. V is referred to as A only. V is referred to as A only. In such language, you have V as A intersection B complement intersection C complement or A intersection A intersection bracket B union C or complement. That will give you the region which we refer to as A only. Then we move on with VI, which is referred to as B only. That is, that is B only. And this B only will give you A complement intersection B intersection C complement. And this one can also be written as B intersection bracket A union C or complement and here with the VI it is only B only then we move on with the VII which is C only VII is C only and this will give you this will give you a complement intersection, B complement intersection, C, and can also be written in such language as A union B or complement intersection, C. Then we have the region which is V, I, 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 which is outside the A, B, and C, but it is within the universal set. And this we refer to as the complement of A, B, and C. The V, 
I, I, I is referred to as the complement of A, B, and C. And it can also be written in another set language as A complement intersection B complement intersection C complement. So these are the various regions that can be identified when, when it comes to three set problems. We are now going to look, look at how we can use these regions in order to solve a given problem. If we add, we have A union B union C, when we want to find A union B union C, which this equal to I plus I I plus I I I plus I V plus V plus V I plus V I I. If that will give you the union of all the three, then we have number of A union B union C equal to number of A plus number of B plus number of C minus number of A intersection B minus number of A intersection C minus number of minus number of B intersection plus number of A intersection B intersection C. Then the universal set, which is number U, equal to I plus I I plus I I I plus I V plus V plus V I plus V I I plus V I I I. But if I, if, if V I I equal to zero, if the complement is zero, the V I I I is a complement. If the complement is zero, then number of U equal to number of A union B union C. If the complement is zero, then here we are now going to look at how we can use this idea in order to solve a given problem. For example, if we have a brand, a draw a Venn diagram of the universal set U containing three sets A, B, and C, given that number of A intersection B intersection C equal to three, then number of A intersection B equal to eight, number of a intersection C equal to four. Number of A intersection number of B intersection C equal to five. Number of A intersection B complement intersection C complement equal to six. Then number of A complement intersection B complement intersection C equal to two. And number of A complement intersection B, intersection C, complement equal to 4. Find I, number of A, B, number of B, and number of C. Then I, I, find number of U. Looking at the diagram, you realize that number of A is not given, number of B is not given, number of C is not given. The M here, which represents number, is very, very important. If you fail to bring the number marks to be deducted from your work in any exams, especially WASI exams. So it's very important when you show the number. If you write A without the N, marks will be deducted from your work. So here, the model one, which is the intersection of all the three, but we were given that number of A intersection B equal to 8. When we are given number of A intersection B equal to 8, it includes the intersection of all the three. And therefore, you need to subtract a 3 from the 8. So you can see that in actual fact, we are given as number of A intersection B equal to 8. And therefore, it includes the 
the intersection of all the three, and therefore we need to subtract. So you can see that uh, we have 8 minus 3 over there. Then you go to the other one, too. You're also given number of number of B intersection C as 5. This one also includes the, all the intersections. So we need also to subtract uh, 3 from it. So we have 5 minus 3. Then we have this region is number of A intersection C, which includes all the 3. So that one also, we need to subtract 3 from 4 in order to get 1. But we are given A only as 6, then B only as 4, and uh, C only as 2. Then from the question, we are required to find number of A, number of B, and number of C, and B, we are supposed to find number of G. So, in order to get number of A, in order to find number of A, you need to add all those figures in this circle. So, number of A equal to 6 plus 3, uh, 6 plus 8 minus 3, that will give you 5. Then plus 3 plus 4 minus 3. That will give you number of A. So you see that we have 6 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3 equal to 15. So number of A equal to 15. Then we look at number of B. Number of B also includes all those in this circle. So, in order to get number of B, then here we have to add 4 plus 8 minus 3 plus 3 plus 5 minus 2. Then when you can number of B equal to 4 plus, that is, that is A only, and then 8 minus 3 will give you 5, that is number of that is number of a intersection b only then you have two plus three which is a, a three is the intersection of all the three and that will give you 14. then we go to number of c number of c also includes all those in this circle and when you're asked to find number of c this will be two plus 4 minus 3 plus 3 plus 5 minus 3. So when you come here, you have number of C as 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, and this will give you 8. Then we go to the II, which is number of U. That was not given that we are supposed to find. So in order to get number of U, in a situation, in the situation where uh, the complement is zero, here it means that number of u equal to number of a intersection b, a union b, a union c. That will give you number of u. So we need to add all those in the three circles. So we shall have six plus four plus 2, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, minus 3, that will give you 2, plus 5. So, we have number of u equal to 6, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, plus 5, plus 2, plus 3, and this will give you number of u, that is the universal set, equal to 23. So, we look at the second example. In this second example, given that P, Q, and R are subset of the universal set as a symbol, we have another symbol for universal set. If number of P intersection Q intersection R equal to 5, 
then number of p intersection q equal to 10 then number of p intersection q complement intersection r equal to 7 number of p complement intersection q intersection r equal to 3 and number of p intersection q complement intersection r complement equal to 3 then number of P complement intersection, Q complement intersection, R complement equal to 8. And number of Q complement equal to 24. Illustrate the above information on a Venn diagram. Find A, number of P and, and number of R. B, number of P complement intersection, Q intersection R complement and C, we, we are supposed to find the universal set. So, this will give you an answer to what we are supposed to find. So, you realize that there is a particular area we represented by Y, which is not given. That is, Q only was not part of the question. But you need to find that one before you'll be able to find the rest. So in order to find Y, you need to add all those that contain that all those that can be found in Q. So here, this, but if you add 3 plus 5 plus 10 minus 5, we are subtracting 10 minus 5. This 5 is from this one. We are subtracting 5 from it because in that what what was given was part that is the five is part of the ten and therefore we need to subtract three from it and when you add three plus five plus five plus y should be equal to the 24 should be equal to the q so you see that we have y equal to 24 minus three plus five plus ten minus five and this will give you 11. Then A, we are supposed to find number of P. So number of P will be 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 10 minus 5. So you see that this will give you 20. Then number of R will be equal to number of R will be equal to 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 and this will give you 23 then b number of p complement intersection q intersection r complement equal to 11 and number of p complement intersection uh, q intersection uh, Intersection R complement and that one will give you this session. That is the Y. That is the one that we have already found over here. Then we go to the universal set, which is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 11 plus 8, and this will give you total as 42. And this it's an assignment that we are supposed to work out and present it to us as uh, through the WhatsApp numbers that we have. So we are giving you a small time to write the assignment and also after that you present it to us for marking. you about five minutes to write the assignment and when you finish the assignment you may send it through these whatsapp numbers and the first one is the number of mr francis Apia, and the second one is my own number any of us that you send this assignment to we go through and and then what and if there is any corrections to be done we do it and then send it back to you and the next one is a summary of all that we did so we have a summary of all that I discussed with you over here. 
some of them I do not, I, I cannot be found in the slides that we've shown, but everything has been summarized here for you to, so that you can use it as a means of going through it and understanding it better. Thank you. Now we'll